All right, guys, so today I'm working on a 2003 Mercedes-Benz SL500, and it came in with the uh, the uh, consumer's offline message and stop sign on the, uh, on the dash over there uh, in red. And so the uh, first thing I suspect is low battery, low battery in the trunk. That's the consumer battery. Uh, the battery, the starter battery is up front under the hood. So uh, the first thing I looked for was the batteries. The bad battery was in the back that, that did need to be changed. Also, this vehicle had a alternator that was not charging uh, at all. And I tested that by uh, putting a multimeter to the actual terminal of the, uh, of the alternator, okay? Uh, so I found out the alternator was not charging, replaced it, and then we had new alternator and one battery in the back that was definitely good. And the starter battery was holding a charge. I, char I uh, tested that with a carbon pile tester under load. So um, the front starter battery is good, the rear battery is new, and the alternator is new. So, and the alternator is now showing charge uh, at the alternator at 14 volts when the car is running. The problem was the voltage is not getting to the battery in the back, the consumer battery. So uh, the system's battery basically, it charges everything from the uh, AC to um, everything basically. The only thing the starter battery does is start the car. So all the electronics in the vehicle are run by the battery in the back. So uh, the reason why I'm under the passenger footwell, I've already removed a lot of things from there. Uh, this cap was covering this fuse box over here like that, right? Took that off, okay? And then there was this, this uh, Bose. Something to do with sound. I don't know what this is. It's probably, uh, I don't know. If you know what this is, comment in the comments. Let me know what this is. I'm not sure what this is, but it says Bose on it, so I'm sure it has something to do with audio. Yeah. And then there was these. These were in there like, like this. So underneath the carpet, it's this guy, this foam pad, and then there's this plate here. You take all that stuff out. And then there's that cap back there, right? And took that off, and now you see the fuses now. The reason why these fuses are important is because that big fuse with the blue in the middle there, that's a 200 amp fuse. Uh, that fuse goes from the alternator and then back to the battery directly. From that fuse, uh, that cable takes it, that little cable back there, see that one attached to the right side? It takes it all the way back to the rear battery. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't have anything at the rear battery. It was a new battery and it was not being charged by the alternator. So I was suspecting this fuse, it wasn't broken. As you can see, it's not broken. It's, it's still intact there. But as I was measuring voltage, I was looking for voltage to come through that. So I should have been able to measure 14 volts uh, at, that, uh, at that fuse there uh, by going uh, positive to the positive lead of the um, multimeter to the fuse and then the uh, negative lead to ground and I found a ground anywhere around here you can you can find ground here anything that's attached to the chassis okay so I wasn't able to measure the 14 volts there but what I did find out is that that fuse wasn't secured properly it was loose so uh, it, that's the reason why it wasn't sending the charge to the rear battery. So uh, just a quick video to let you guys know, if your battery in your SL500 is not charging, check this big fuse here, okay? And the fuse underneath it, that one controls the uh, charging for the starter battery. Uh, check that one if your charger battery is not, battering, uh, not charging. If the system's battery in the rear and the trunk is not, then it's this one here, check that one. Uh, make sure that one's uh, working. Uh, okay, I think that's it for today. I'm going to wrap this one up. It's now working. It's charging properly. I got 14 volts at both batteries. Uh, so I think customer's going to be happy on this one. Thanks for watching, guys.